Good morning church. Welcome to today's devotion and in today's devotion will be in the closing verses of Luke chapter 10. And we look at Luke chapter 10 verses 25 to verse 42. And in Luke chapter 10, we see that this portion is divided into three parts. There's a lawyer who's asking a question. Then second, Jesus tells the parable of the Good Samaritan. And third, verses 38 to 42, Jesus is in the house of Mary and Martha. So in Mark chapter 12, verses 32 and 33, Jesus is the one telling us or giving us the greatest commandment. And what is the greatest commandment? It is to love the Lord your God and to love your neighbor as yourself. And then here we see that there is a lawyer who's trying to test Jesus in Luke chapter 10 in verses 25 onwards. And he's asking Jesus, Jesus, what should I do to inherit eternal life? So Jesus being a rabbi in those days, what would happen is when a rabbi is trying to teach someone, he would ask a question that would lead the person thinking in the direction he wanted them to think. So here is Jesus, you know, asking this lawyer uh, a question and he asks, what is written in the law? How does it read to you? So here we see that in response to Jesus's question, the lawyer quotes Deuteronomy 6 verse 5 and Leviticus 19 verse 18. And we see that here the lawyer says the same thing that Jesus says in Mark chapter 12 verses 32 and 33. The greatest commandment is to love the Lord your God and love your neighbor as yourself. And why is Jesus telling this parable of the Good Samaritan? first and the why does the story of Mary and Martha come after that it is because of this that many times we can love God and we forget to love our neighbor so therefore to give priority to the right thing so Jesus tells the story of or tells the parable of the Good Samaritan and the Good Samaritan, the persons who should have been doing the job, like the Levites and the priests, they were not even concerned with the man who was robbed. There was a man who was robbed and he was laying by the roadside and these guys didn't even care for him. But we see in this parable that there was a Samaritan. Now a Samaritan was an outcast. In those days, what they would believe is if you are purely from Israel, then you know you can mix around with the Israelites. But probably these guys were not a pure generation and they had intermingled with other uh, generations from outside of Israel. So these guys were, were enemies. And we see that in Leviticus 19 verse, verse 18 that you know only uh, the Israelites were considered as neighbors. So this parable is told in response to the question that the lawyer is asking, who is my neighbor? And this parable tells us that, you know, anybody in need of help, okay, anywhere closest to us or, you know, anybody we see that needs our help is our neighbor. And also following this story is the story of Mary and Martha, where we see Mary is at the feet of, feet of Jesus and Martha is working in the kitchen. And as we can see that, you know, if we study this passage, we need both of them, okay? Mary's role but is of much more importance than Martha's because sitting there's nothing greater than sitting at the feet of Jesus and listening to what he has to say and what uh, what he needs to teach us so so these two stories the story of the Samaritan and the story of Mary and Martha teaches us that we need to set our priorities straight we need to 
set you know god first we need to uh, love god love our neighbors love the people around us and you know never only love god without loving the people around us so priorities need to be straight in both these areas so this is a devotion for today have a nice day guys bye